Why should you study sociology? There are a lot of reasons, but I'd like to start with what I think is the most important. Look at the image on the slide. What do you see? What are your thoughts about the men in the image? Your thoughts about these men are largely determined by the societies in which you live and the groups to which you belong. Studying sociology can help you better understand how society and groups have influenced how you see the world and the people in it. It can also help you to better understand how and why others are similar and different from you. This understanding can help you regardless of your college major or career choice, because whatever you do in life and work, you will be with other people. I'm Kathleen Monahan, and I'm excited that you're considering taking sociology with either me or one of my colleagues. Here's some information that might help you decide if my class is the right class for you. Currently, I'm only teaching Introduction to Sociology, and my classes are completely online and asynchronous, which means basically that you don't have any specific time that you have to log into. You just need to get in often enough to make sure that you can keep up with your assignments and get them turned in on time. The course is broken up into five separate units, and each unit covers two to three chapters. You're also going to be participating in discussions in class. And my, the feedback that I've gotten from students is that this is their favorite part of the course. The discussions are written and centered around reading assignments or videos that you'll watch. The students tell me that they like them because the topics are interesting and they enjoy reading the perspectives of other students. There's also a quiz over each chapter. We have about 15, 16 chapters that we cover, and there's a, a, a quiz with like 10 questions. Um, and I really do this to help you to keep up with your um, reading, because some students have a tendency to fall behind, but also they prepare you for the exams over the material to see, you know, are you getting what you need to get out of um, the reading materials um, and the videos that you'll be watching. Um, you're allowed two opportunities to take each quiz as long as you have the minimum score required on your first attempt. There are three exams as well, and the first exam covers the first two units, the second exam covers the third and fourth, and then the last exam, which I guess you could consider a final exam, covers all, all of them, but um, about half of the exam covers the, the, uh, the last unit, the fifth unit. And your final assignment is a reflection paper in, will you, in which you'll reflect on the material that has been covered in the course. Um, here are some of the topics that are going to be covered in the course. We're going to start with a brief history of sociology so that you can understand um, you know, where sociology came from and some of the the thinking in sociology. Um, not all sociologists approach the study with the same perspective, so this gives you an opportunity to um, just to learn about the different perspectives because we'll be looking at, at these different subjects as we go through the semester from the different perspectives. We'll be covering sociological research, culture, social interaction, socialization, groups and organizations, um, social stratification, race and ethnicity, marriage and family, religion and education. As you can see, there's a variety of topics that we'll be looking at through the sociological lens. Now, the first course that I took in college, the first sociology course that I took in college, changed my perception of the world and my place in it. And in essence, it changed my life. That's why I'm really excited about sharing this subject with my students. Um, if this course seems like a good fit for you, I look forward to introducing you to the field of sociology and thank you for watching this video.